And we're back with TSPN with Mike Fazy. Hi, Mike. How are you doing Hi. this morning? Good. Thanks Drove for having from, me. Drove from Stockton. You look pretty good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pretty early morning. Yeah. All right. You're with Mike's Mobile Screen and Chimney Service. That's right. You're out of Stockton, but you do quite a bit of work up here in Amateur County in the foothills. Absolutely. Yeah. We work all over up here. Um, we work up in Sacramento, down to Modesto, and also the East Bay. Okay. Um, would you say... Your business is primarily chimney chimney service or screens or a little well, bit of everything? Well, that's what's unique about our business. You know, we're essentially two opposing seasonal businesses. We do chimneys in the winter and screens in the summer, so we're mm -hmm. busy year-round. Or if somebody wants to do both at the same time, I guess you take care of your oh, We're prepared too. to do, yeah, definitely prepared to do both at all times. That might be the cheaper way to do it, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, we like to combine services, definitely. I know I haven't taken care of my chimney in, in quite a while, so I, it, it probably is in need of some care. Yeah, um, the National Fire Protection Agency recommends uh, that you have your chimney inspected annually. Mm -hmm. uh, we recommend uh, an annual cleaning if you use it regularly, mm -hmm. or a good rule of thumb is with every cord of wood to have it cleaned. Okay. How, uh, how often or how much does it cost to clean a chimney? Our cleanings run uh, from about 145 to about 180 depending on what type of fireplace you have. Mm -hmm. uh, that includes a cleaning. And it also includes a uh, full written out inspection. Our technicians will go over every you know line item part of the chimney with our customers, okay. um, and also an estimate for repairs if if you know we do find anything. One thing I wanted to bring up too, I asked you before we started, are you bonded or licensed? And why don't you tell us about that? Because there's a lot of people that do this work that don't have any insurance. There are, them. and they're up on your roof, up maybe 20, 30 feet off the ground. Yeah, so, you know, with anyone working on your home, um, yeah, we're licensed, bonded, insured. We've been around over 10 years now. Um, I mean, any, anyone doing substantial work on your home, you want, to, you want them to have a contractor's license. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have a B license and another specialty license. Um, we carry general liability. Yeah, definitely with someone on your roof. Yeah, um, so, or in your house or any place. So you, but you're licensed, you're bonded, so that's, a, that's a, yeah. a big, takes off the pressure of the property owner having to worry about uh, any liability issues. Yeah, there are guys that do this that just work out of their truck and, uh, you know, you don't always know what you're getting. Um, mm -hmm. Well, why does somebody need to clean their chimney? Let, and I, I, mine sat there, somebody might say, mine sat there for years and I never cleaned it, no problem. Sure, sure. So. Um, the, the like I said, the National Fire Protection Agency recommends an inspection annually, even if you don't use it. Mm -hmm. And that's because, uh, you know, you could have water damage, especially the older masonry chimneys, a lot of water damage, um, you know, little cracks uh, through the winter, through a freeze-thaw cycle, water gets in those cracks, it freezes mm -hmm. and expands and just makes them larger and larger. Mm -hmm. So that kind of thing can happen, even if you're not using it, uh, if you don't have a chimney cap, a lot of debris can can land in your chimney. We see that even if there's no trees around. Um, birds. Yeah, birds and that. We don't have a chimney cap, and every once in a while we'll have a bird in the house. Yeah, we so kind of know where, how it got so in. inevitably we get a couple calls like that, uh, mm -hmm. where where some kind of critter stuck in a chimney, and we go and and fish it out. Mm -hmm. um, you know, never, so never had to pull Santa out though, right? <laughs> not yet. Not no. yet. So um, yeah, and, and so. Yeah, once a year. I mean, do, you, do you thing. actually, if you see something like you don't have a chimney cap, do you uh, recommend or will you put something like that on if somebody asks for it? Yeah, absolutely. We carry chimney caps, uh, most items for small repairs on our mm -hmm. truck, so we can do it right there. Yeah. Um, and like I said, we have a, a B contractor's license, so we could do pretty right. much any repair there is. Now, somebody might ask me, how do you know the bird came in through the chimney? Be because there are black marks on the ceiling. <laughs> so <laughs> it's pretty easy to tell. Um, now, you do... Um, well, you, first of all, let's get into the, the if somebody builds a fire, tips for having fires. Number one tip I would say is use uh, seasoned firewood. Um, you know, people ask us that all the time, what kind of wood is the best? Um, you know, our website has a great uh, FAQ for that. It's mikesmobile.com. Okay. ton of information on there. Um, but what I find is just that it's if it's seasoned, uh, that'll burn well. It doesn't matter so much what type of wood. Even if it's like um, a... Some woods have a little more oil in them, don't they? So. Yeah, you know, the important thing is the temperature that you're burning. With an open fireplace, it's not that big of a deal. But with uh, a freestanding stove or an insert or something like that, a lot of people like to choke them down at night. Mm -hmm. And if you're not having uh, 
like a hot fire, so right. to speak. Um, there's going to be a lot of stuff going up in the smoke. And so what we recommend is just a little, you know, thermometer on your stove. Mm -hmm. um, and what is the thermometer just going to... So this has well, a, if you go to bed and you have a, a low fire burning... Yeah, so this has a temperature range on it uh, so that you can burn in the right temperature range. A lot of people choke them down and they're having too cool of a fire and that produces just a ton of creosote mm -hmm. and advanced creosote and the glazing and that's corrosive, it's a carcinogen, it's... What do we do? What do those people do that like to go to bed like that and have a low burning fire thinking it's going to keep their house at a, uh, well, keep the heater from running possibly or keep their house some warmth in there? Sure. Um, what we recommend for that is uh, we carry this on our trucks. It's just an anti creosote remover. Um, and if they use this between their fires, if they have that heavy creosote or glazing, mm -hmm. this will chemically deteriorate that. So when we go to clean it. Where do you spray it at? Uh, this you spray in the firebox um, before you have a fire. Okay, so it actually, when you burn, it actually goes it up goes and helps up. clean that creosote off. Yeah, so out of all the, uh, you know, we've tried a bunch of different stuff. This stuff seems to work really well. Right. Um, you know, because the, the other option is once you get let that creosote go, if, say, you go a couple of years without having a cleaning, it turns into a glazing, and then we have to go and whip a chain around, and it literally breaks off part of there. I see. Actually, Blue. Have to get down in the chimney and all that. Or oh, it's a dirty it? job. <laughs> okay, I bet. Um, tell us what kind of other jobs you do besides chimney, because you're getting into with the weather we're having. People are already thinking about opening their windows. Yeah. So we're Mike's Mobile Screen and Chimney Service. Uh, we do everything with window and door screens. Uh, we come right out and we build them on site, so it's a perfect fit. Mm -hmm. um, solar screens are really popular here. You know, they block 80 to 90 percent of the UV rays. Okay. So in the summer, when it's hot outside, it's um, you know, not to mention they're, uh, they're pet proof, so a lot mm -hmm. of people put them on their slider doors. Okay. Uh, we sell them with a 10 year warranty. All right. Um, so people love that. We do 100% custom security doors. Mm -hmm. We do retractable motorized awnings. All right. Um, we're going to have to go to a break, but um, we'll talk to you some more at the end and let you talk about the screens a little more. Give your website one more time, Mike. It's mikesmobile.com. All right, Mike, thank you very much for coming up from Stockton. Thank you. All right, and we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN.